What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, ABD Hero, back again with another video. Today's video, we talking about my guy, Leangelo Ball, Greensboro Swarm, and, and what I just saw today, watching the Swarm take on the Celtics of Maine. Um, we're gonna watch some clips from the game. I'm gonna play some clips from the game, and we wanna analyze two different offenses, Jello in the game, Jello out of the game, and, and maybe y'all can tell me what's happening here that maybe I'm missing. Triple right. B's! AB the hero, back at it, baby. First things first, appreciate everybody who hit the like button right there before that intro was over. I cut it short, so if you was late, Nah, I'm playing. But straight up, appreciate y'all for doing that. Um, we hit a milestone recently on the channel, 20,000 subscribers. 20,000 subscribers, man. That's a big deal. Um, There's not a lot of folks on this YouTube platform who hit that mark, and it's because of you. Let me not sing, because I, you know, if I start singing on here, y'all gonna be on every day. Can you sing, AB? AB, sing. All right, so Greensboro, uh, Maine. 105 to 99. It's a pretty close game up until maybe like the fourth quarter. This main team started like inching away. Um, it was in, in, you know, Jello watched that from the bench. All right. Here's what I got for y'all today. Now, we look here, we see Jello back in the starting lineup, 14 minutes as a starter. There's a red flag there. When we look across the board, the other starters, Jalen Crutcher, 38 minutes, DJ Carton, 37 minutes, Arnaldo Scarbaco, 41 minutes, Nordis Odesi, 22 minutes, Jello, 14 minutes. Something seems off. Something seems off with those, those numbers here. Now we go to the bench. Scotty Lewis, 21 minutes. Cam McGriff, 27 minutes. Inglang Numangla, 25 minutes. And Chudir Bao, um, 12 minutes. Chudir is the only person who played less minutes than Leangelo, and he came off the bench. Jello was in the starting lineup. Now, here's what I'm saying to you. In watching the game, what makes this weird, and actually, let me address this first, is a lot of folks keep saying that all right because they do have some injuries right now they're down i think three guys right um uh injuries xavier sneed he's one of those like key guys for this team as well so um he he's a uh um a, a role a, a critical piece for this swarm squad however this makes no sense when you look at the minutes distribution as if he's only in the starting lineup because um, there's players injured. Because we've seen Cam McGriff in the starting lineup. We've seen Scotty Lewis in the starting lineup. Um, I believe Nungba has been in the starting lineup at different times. So it's just very interesting that that um, we're, we're seeing Leangelo crack the starting lineup, but then also not see his minutes, not see his usage, and all these other things like, you know what I mean, be of the caliber of a starter. Uh, so, if you watch today's game, and we're gonna look at some film on this here in a second, but if you watch today's game, one of the big things that you would have noticed is in Jello's 14 minutes, let's say if you divide that by four quarters, that means he's playing probably about three and a half minutes or so a quarter. Um, as I'm watching the game, what's interesting is he's playing those three and a half minutes a quarter in like a minute and a half, a minute 45 second increments. Like legitimately come in the game, play a minute and a half, maybe get one shot up and then come on out. Play some defense, uh, run up and down the court, go stand in the corner and then come on out. And in that time, it's so interesting watching um, who's in his position and then when he's out of the game, who's not in his position. Obviously, they got Arnaldo Scaboco here playing uh, center, but oftentimes him and Jello kind of play a similar role where they do stand off in those wings and wait for a three-point shot, but for some reason, Caboco gets more movement than um, than Jello is allowed to get. Let's let's take a look here. All right, pull up. All right, so pull it up here. Let's just go in a theater mode. All right, so here is, we've got 10 minutes, 41 seconds in the fourth quarter here, all right? Now what I want you to do is just check out this possession, all right? This is the possession before Leangelo gets into the game. Look how much ball movement and, and activity is happening with the Swarm team. We got uh, Carden bringing it down. He calls for a pig. 
drives it ain't there um we got kaboko up top calling for the ball coming out of that corner cut to the basket pass it around the shooters passing it around now we got kaboko back here to the corner nobody in the corner over here all right ball movement lay leads to that bucket right there right dj carton who started it ends up finishing it driving to the basket all right now if we just let this ride for a second here all right we see Carden like dang he wanted a call because there was some contact there all right we see leangelo right here running over about to check into the game all right so we'll fast forward till he get in all right bam 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 foul on the way All right, we see Jello in, bam, right there with them Jordan 13s on. I, I think it's those um, the Ray Allen PEs or something, or, or maybe Jordan just got some green ones. But you know what I mean? I guess that makes sense. If you're gonna be in Boston, you, you know what I mean? Put someone in here. All right, now here's where we start now. We got the ball down the court. We got my man Jello in the corner. We got Caboco running again to this corner over here. We got the same pick. We got the throw across the court. Catch and shoot. Bam. So we got the one shot. Like I said, coming to the game, one shot, and then it's gone. That's a that's a tough situation. My man is technically, he is wide open right now. This is the play to make, right? This is why y'all run that offense. You got a driver and a kicker. You got a guy right here wide open. Pass is high. He got to jump way up out of bounds, turn into down Superman, pull it down, catch and release the defender. Amazing closeout. Now he going right back up for the shot. Has to take this shot because I know I got a minute. I'm not getting the ball again. I got to take this shot. Off balance shot, but you know what? I'm going to shoot it anyway because I'm jello and then we're going to let the sniper snipe. Quick shot, back iron. All right, we got, now we, we're looking at this from the defensive standpoint. We got uh, Celtics, they getting into a little bit of motion here. Driving to the basket, help defense, causes the turnover. Really, well, I, I can't tell if that was just a bad pass or my man just ain't even like paying no attention here. Ball goes straight out of bounds off his shoulder. All right. Let's check out our offense again. All right, we got Crutcher bringing it up. Jello in the corner. All right, let's do this. We're gonna bring it up, set like a little pick here. Nothing going, they're gonna give it to me, I'ma shoot it, all right? No passes that time. We bring it down here, we got uh, everybody on D. Jello up top, sliding down, help D again. In the paint, help D again, causes the steal. All right, I like what you're doing there. All right, now, damn, I should have kept, we should have looked at when he officially got into the game. But it's been about, I want to say 50 seconds or so. Uh, thought they had to steal, didn't get it. Oh boy, got the ball back. Went ahead and got a bucket. Jello to the corner. So now we got to switch here. All right, so Jello came down here. In the paint here, I'm gonna post up. Nah, he ain't post up. He just, he looked like he was originally gonna be in that top corner over there. Was hoping that he could maybe get a, some eye contact from Carden and then get an easy bucket. Ain't happen. So my man going back to his corner. Now we look at before we didn't seen Jello in this top corner a few different times, right? Look at the motion that they run with Kaboko, who is the center. Obviously, we play in a positionless game right now, so that don't matter. But look at the motion we got. Screen for Kaboko, pump fake. He get the he get is his moment to go to work. Right now, he back into the corner. He touched it. 
they they pulled jello out of the corner all right so we we you think that in most cases right we just ran some motion with kaboko that didn't work we we got our shooters in the wings maybe we run the same motion carton looks over here i might throw it to jello nah i ain't gonna do that actually what i want you to do jello is you come out of the corner now all right and and i'm just gonna go one-on-one -on -one here now that's if you're gonna make the bucket at the end of the, the day what what counts is you know what i'm saying is you're gonna get a bucket or not but let's look at this is this worth the situation that you want to be in that's that's a two-on-one if if 22 could play any kind of defense all right that boy Carton is nice though athletic man super athletic all right so here we back on defense we got jello up in that top corner again um so so what i'm saying what we're looking at here is i guess a couple different things right we're seeing the offense success and things that they running but then we also looking to see like is there a liability on the defensive end because sometimes you might have guys who who can dominate on the offensive end but once you get them on defense like there's nowhere to hide them right you you ain't here to play power forward you ain't here to play small forward we need you to go ahead and get buckets and do your uh, get buckets but we also need you to help protect the rim help on the perimeter all of these different things all right got most we have a man up top got the dribbles going all right mid range off the rim rebound all right we we out running this is also what killed me all right so Look at my man Jello. We all running. Koboko out running. You got both your shooters running to the corner, right? And and we walking the ball up court here. Drive to the basket. Beautiful finish. Let's take a look at this here. Um, we got Jello back into the same corner, kind of sliding up and down that sideline. We got four guys here um, on, on a team that's looking to drive and kick most cases, especially when Kaboko can shoot the three ball too. That's him down here in this corner. You also got Jello out here. Um, oftentimes, the reason why you set your offense up like this is because you trying to keep defenders honest, right? Defenders know I can't come off of these shooters because he gonna drive it and kick it out to a shooter. We got a wide open three. In this offense here, they realize they just out there. Everybody on the whole entire court is collapsing on my man here and uh, not, not worried about the three shooters surrounding the perimeter, even in the slightest. It's a bucket. He wanted contact. He didn't get it. We already have somebody waiting here, right, to sub in. Guess who you think they gonna get sub? Who, who's getting subbed out here? The Jello just pushed my dog on the ground. Let me see that. All right, let's see. Oh, <laughs> oh I see what happened. Look at this. Look at this flop. So we got Crutcher here. Jello is, is on the back of 13. 13 bumps in the crusher and he drops to the ground. Okay, okay. Going to work in the paint. That looked like that could have been some contact there. All right, we almost got a turnover here. And we did. Backcourt violation. Here we got another dude coming off the bench. Help me up. My man Jello officially back out of the game. One shot was at two offensive possessions. Let's see, when, when did we get him in the game? Let's see. We we out at 7.45. Let's say. So maybe it's, it's more than uh more than a minute and a half or so. Let's see. Let's go back to this. Alright, so we still out here. Yeah, two minutes, 7.45, so yeah, about two minutes, right? So this is also the fourth quarter, and Jello never came back into the, this fourth quarter here. So this was his, like, you know what I'm saying, close to the 3.5 that he was having here. But literally, man, this, if you watch these games here, you can look this way. and be like, oh, shit, they just put Jello in. 
look back. Oh, damn, Jello coming out. That's the type of activity that they got going on right now in Greensboro. But it's just so funny to me to watch them actually play and, and, and conversely between when Jello is in the game and when Jello is not in the, in the game. We look at it from an offensive standpoint here. All right, here we go. We got Caboco running. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, I'll say, all right. We still, we back where we first started. All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Let's watch one more possession here. We got some motion here. Some more motion. We got Caboso rolling. Another three men in the corner, kicking it across. Cash, no, damn, brick. But I'm just saying, you can see it's a lot more motion, a lot more opportunities potentially being created when they, uh, when they got certain people in the game. But she made man, every day, we getting up out of here. I appreciate y'all tapping in and tuning in. We out. No, not peace. Plus one, triple beads. We out.